Welcome to CalBears.com. With me is uh, Lindsey Gottlieb, women's basketball coach. Uh, a, a strange weekend in that you had to play the same team twice on a Tuesday and on the weekend. The Tuesday game wasn't necessarily the best for you, but your victory against Stanford at Maples to snap their conference winning streak. Uh, you only turned the ball over six times. You had 20 offensive rebounds. I mean, just a dominating effort against what has been the dominating team in this league for a long time. Yeah, it was a great day, um, I think, for Cal, for our players, um, for the fans and community. Anytime you snap someone's 81 game winning streak, it's big. Um, to do it on ESPN, uh, get some national recognition for our players and how hard they played, and the defense was incredible. You know, after the first one, people just said, oh, if you make a couple more shots, you win. But we actually watched the film and said, we need to play faster, we need to play at our pace. And I thought our players really bought into those messages. And it worked out well for us to play them a couple days later. Again, the defense was outstanding. It was one of those games where you got a five-second call against them. You were able to get a couple of t shot clock violations as well. And despite that, you also had one of the strangest turnovers I've ever seen in a game as well, where one of your players threw the ball to the official uh, late in the game. Fortunately, that didn't make a difference. You know, I didn't see what happened. I was calling the play on the offensive end, and all of a sudden, Rashonda's saying to me, sorry, you know. And I didn't see it till the film after that. She threw it right back at the ref. I think it was a little confusion, but luckily uh, we had enough of a cushion uh, that that didn't make a difference. Um, I'm sure she won't live that down for a while in our locker room. But um, overall, just our, our effort and intensity were incredible. You know, they have one of the best players in the country in Shanae Gwumake, and I thought, that our defense on, on everybody else needed to be great. Um, that was the best defense on Cheney, the pressure we put on the guards. I thought Rashonda and our you know quartet of post players did a really good job on Cheney. Um, and it just really, um, I think, showed the country how we play, which is with a lot of passion, energy, good defense, fast. I thought we set the tempo and never let up. So it was a good day for us. It was indeed uh, leading the way. Brittany had 19 points. Lasia had her typical double figures game. But in a game like this, and it certainly showed in the Tuesday night game when you didn't have this, you needed somebody else to step up and hit some perimeter shots. And Michaela Lyles got hot at the end of the first half with 11 of her 14 points in that what last six minutes of the half? It was incredible. You know, this is what I think top college basketball teams are about. Michaela doesn't get a ton of minutes, but she lives in the gym. She's always the most vocal. She's the most prepared. She's ready. And it was a game where we needed her to step in, and I have every confidence that she's going to knock down shots. She also got seven boards. But it was one of those kind of storybook games where, you know, we kept running plays to her, um, and she was knocking it down. Four threes in that first half was, was huge for us. And I think it gave the whole team a confidence boost that all of a sudden Jen's knocking down shots, and Brittany's hit, hitting her floaters, and, and and getting to the rim and uh, sometimes you need that and, and it was really a special uh, moment. We also know it's only January and we want to win a conference championship so this is a big thing for us but we will need to keep pushing forward. So the Bears hold Stanford to their lowest point total in a conference game ever 55 points and get the victory. One of the reasons Lasia Clarendon is the senior once again had another outstanding game. Here's her story. The Golden Bears, Allen pass far sideline for Clarendon. Lasia goes middle, two foot plant and raise, off balance, eight footer, yes. Main is Lasia, spin middle, corkscrew jump shot, 12 footer, beautiful. From a parade All American in high school to, well, an All American at Cal, Lasia Clarendon has done just about everything during her career. As one of the senior leaders, she has helped the Bears become one of the top programs in the country. No longer a pretender, the Bears have become a legitimate Pac 12 contender and a national threat. And with that, ultimate respect. Especially being that kind of Stanford Cal travel partners, it's people have always been like, we're going to steal the one from, you know, Cal, Stanford. It's like, they're going to be Stanford, but we can just steal one. So I think that's kind of good. We have that pride, like, no, you're not going to steal one. You're playing two teams that you're going to be, you're going to have to prepare just as much for both of them. So I think that is a lot of pride in that. In addition to her tangible exploits on the court, she scored over 1,400 points in her career. She has set the overall tone for everybody else. Her work ethic and how hard she works, it just like, I think it just translated over to me. And I just see how hard like she wanted things and how hard she went, like she played, she practiced, just how, she, how hard she went in school. And it just like, I kind of, I felt that. And unlike a lot of big time scores, the San Bernardino native is willing to max out at the other end of the court as well. Coming in my freshman year, it's kind of like, okay, you'll guard so-and-so player. And now it's come to like, no, you're guarded. You know, they're the best player on their team kind of thing. So defense is something that I've taken a lot of pride in because I'm known for scoring a lot. But I think I want to be known for defense as well, getting stops, being a good wing defender. Clarendon and her mates have knocked on the door to national attention, advancing to the second round of the NCAA tournament last year before losing at Notre Dame. In years past, wins against good opponents on the road were tough to come by. But this squad does not hope to win. It knows how to win. 
I think it's everything from our work ethic from last year to this year and I think some things just come with growth with you know having a new coach knowing our plays more knowing what we want to run having more of an identity just a, a bunch of things so um, I think our work ethic from last year to this year and you could physically see everyone's bodies and coach she talked about a lot because they don't see us all summer coming back like Boyd was really fit just our post players were lean Talia came back from Nike looking ready to like beast anybody so I think physically we came back like ready to play and then having just everyone healthy just things kind of click and you just know like this is our time. It is also the last time around one final season for the blue and gold before a chance at the WNBA. And growing up it was it wasn't necessarily something that I was like oh my god I want, you know that's my dream kind of thing at first thing my sister go to college is like oh that's cool and I think like I could do that and then the letters start pouring in and you're like oh my god yeah I'm doing this kind of thing so I think uh, I just kind of live each day by day and now it's something that's becoming so much more tangible that I'm like wow in like a few months I could be flying off to some camp or you know watching the draft or being at the draft. Well, Leisha has been a rock for you since you've been here. She was a rock the two years prior to you being here as well. And uh, as we mentioned in the piece, was an All-American in high school, has played on some national teams, and she's having an All-American season this year as well. Oh, she's incredible. I mean, there's nothing she doesn't do for us. Uh, she can shoot the three, get to the rim, and, and her mid-range game separates her. And she's doing this with a lot of defense, you know, focusing on her and climbing on her. And then uh, at the same time, the defensive end is where she shines as well. We often put her on the other team's best player. You know, she plays the most minutes for her. You can't say enough. Um, and she's a superstar in the classroom. Just a, just a wonderful student athlete. She's everything you want, you know, to coach and, and to represent your university. All right, this week she gets to play against the hometown schools, but it'll be up here because you go from the frying pan sort of into the fire. You go from, you know, the team that was ranked number four or five in the country to the only two teams that are still undefeated in conference play, USC and UCLA. Yeah, everyone's talked about the strength of the Pac-12 and how it's good for all of us, but uh, there's no question we don't get a rest. Um, USC's first. They're incredibly talented. They struggled early, but they've won their last four, all four in conference, and we know they always play well against us. It's not going to be hard for me to get our players motivated, just reminding them that they got two wins against us last year, so that should be a good game on Thursday night. Um, and then UCLA is one of the top teams in the country. I think they're 15th um, in the rankings, uh, incredibly talented, very physical, um, and so that's going to be another good one. Um, obviously, the front part of our our schedule is really tough, um, but I think our players um, are ready for that. I think they like the big moment, and we know this is another big opportunity for us uh, this weekend to prove that we're for real. Certainly. Well, we know you're for real. You just want to keep the ball rolling here as the Bears take on USC, 6 o'clock on Thursday night, and then Sunday afternoon at 1230. That one will be on the ESPN family of networks, so check the local listings. Thanks a lot, and good luck this week against the Southern California schools. Thanks, Todd. Always good to be with you. All righty, Lindsey Gottlieb. The Bears uh, rolling right now. Come out and see them because this is a very, very good basketball team.